call this meeting to order. Roll call. Clark McClary. Here. Larry Watson. Here. Billy Clow. Here. The excise board calls this meeting to order. Roll call. Joe Clement. Here. Jerry Terrell. Here. Stoney Odom. Here. I was on three pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Technology Solutions Group and Voice and Internet Services for Hasbro County's Communications Nation. Go ahead. All right. Well, good morning to everyone. I'm going to pass out just a little bit of information if you want to hand those guys down here one. And I've got one for you if you need to put that for your little legs. Uh, so we're with VIP Technology uh, Solutions Group and we handle the phone uh, service for the courthouse and used to be the election board and, and uh, then the county clerk. And so what we were here is kind of one of fact-finding mission from, from you all. We know that uh, with the new building, we had the election board move to the other area, and, they, and you all went with a different uh, solution down there with the internet and the phone system on, a, on what we call a hosted solution. Um, with that, we put in the uh, on-premise system over here at the courthouse that, it, that connects everyone together years and years ago. And so what we were here to do is just kind of make sure that A, that you were happy with our service, B, if you were looking for a whole new solution once you get the new building in there, we would love to be part of, of those discussions if that's something that we would go, and C, find out what your pain points are. What uh, is good about what you like about the system, what the, the people, whether it's service or you know the, the technology that's used, obviously the technology you put in there is still rock solid, it's just over technology and sometimes those when you purchase those they come into life so one of the things that we thought that we could explain to you all in this information shows a little bit of the VIP what we do obviously we're a, a full-fledged turnkey facility that can handle all the data cabling all of the internet service anything that that the county might need to handle phone service uh, internet as well so with that what we want to do is, is make sure that we differentiate ourselves. How do we do that? It's by service. You know, you don't call into a, we don't farm it out. You don't call into some uh, call center in Dallas, Texas, that you're going to get somebody to say, hey, you know, we'll get somebody out there when we can. They'll be in contact with you. We're right there. Um, our main office is in Coweta. We have an office in Muskogee and in Oklahoma City. So <clears throat> those techs are, are watching your phones 24-7. So if somebody notices a phone go off on the on the weekend or you know there's a problem with your internet, things like that, if we're just a phone call away, we can have text come on site if need be. We can do that by different ways. We can let you all let us bill you. We can do what we call equipment as a service. And you'll find out that um, in some of that paperwork. What that is, is when the county purchases things, you purchase and buy those things outright. They're yours. If you want to do that, that's one way to do it. The way that we found is kind of um, in there with some of our references is they do equipment as a service, which gives you a 24-hour on call. We're always at, at your beck and call, basically. So if there's ever a problem, you're in there. So it just depends on which way you all wanted to go. Mm -hmm. We could prepare both options for a bid process, but that's kind of what I wanted to throw out there and see if that's something that it's basically you're leasing the phones. So when the term of the contract comes up, whether it's 60 months or whatever we decide on, on that terminology is, and I know the state year by year and all those things, but um, when that comes due, we can do those refreshes. So you're not stuck into, okay, well, I've got these phones and we paid $50,000 for them eight years ago, and now you're trying to buy new phones to patch in old phones to the system, and you have to buy refurbished ones or you know find some kind of different option to try and patch those in. So that's what the equipment as a service kind of does is, is set you up for a, a future that you don't have to constantly purchase something that's going to be in life in, in five, seven, ten years, whatever it might be. It's just a constant uh, upkeep. So those are some of the things that we had. Mainly the questions that we were wondering is are you looking for a new system? 
And if so, um, who would I talk to about finding out about how many uh, phones that you want when you go to the new building? We can count how many you have because we know. But uh, is there an opportunity for more growth over there that you all might be planning for? Is there anything in the courthouse that's going to grow? This building will obviously go away, I assume. Uh, is this going to be parking? Yeah. yeah. So that that will be nice. But uh, those are some of the questions that we had. Is if, if that's uh, something that you all are interested in, or at least looking at, we would love to be a part of that. I think probably the phone lines is remaining the same from here to there. We're going to have the job There was two offices that wanted to add from the courthouse. In the courthouse, mm -hmm. yeah. and right now the courthouse and the, and the court clerk's office are separate. You know, obviously, with being able to do that and search that out new, we could put that all into one entity if that's need be, or we can keep it separate. Whatever works best for for the county would be what we want to do: continue as is, or or do a complete system and, and put it all together. Some of the opportunities with uh, the equipment as a service and going hosted, which is basically your phone lines are over the internet now. There's no long distance calls. They're, so you're not being charged extra for having to, to dial 1918 or you know somebody in Muskogee, you just pick up the phone, dial 918, 279-7000, which is me. So, uh, but then you uh, also have the disaster routing. So if something happens, we have a flood, lightning strikes the courthouse that disaster routing sends that phone to whomever you designate to their cell phones so you can get phones or to a different number off-site whatever the case might be so those are some of the different things that, that we do one of the things that that um, obviously i hit on earlier was the the service and that's where we can outshine everyone that's what i'm here for and uh, i've done this for a few years now but uh, i've always been in customer service so knowing that people that we take care of, <clears throat> that's the most genuine thing you can do. I mean, anybody can get a price and, you know, we're very competitive in that, but, you know, what are you going to have to deal with for that next five-year term? And so that's where we, we feel like that we can uh, definitely help out. I'm going to go ahead and pass out cards here. Did you all have any questions of me that uh, might, uh, might come up that you all want to discuss later or anything like that? You can call, email, or if you have something now, we'd be glad to field any questions. You probably need to go to all the offices and do like Dobson and the other ones have done and go by and see what drops they need to add or take away mm -hmm. and just get us a bid. Okay. Yes, sir. We can absolutely do that. But y'all can provide all of our needs. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Internet and everything. And that's one of the neat things that, that um, and, and I didn't introduce my <laughs> cohort here. This is our executive director of voice services, Colby Cook. And so he's been around for 15, 17 years now. And so um, he's one of the bosses. So I almost forgot to introduce him. But with all of that, uh, yes, we can do all that. We can actually handle your internet circuit and all the phones so you don't have to separate it out. Um, Colby's kind of giving me a little thing. It's one throat to choke. So if you have any problem, you don't have to call AT&T or Cross or Dobson, you call VIP and we take care of it. I think that's where we're wanting to get to. You know? Absolutely. We've got Absolutely. four or five we're paying right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're right. And so this would kind of consolidate it into one and take care of, of all the needs that would be. But yeah, absolutely. We do all that data cabling ourselves, our own technicians set up, and we also do what's included in our bid will be a training. For the, if we do do new phones as well, we'll come down and train the staff at their convenience on, you know, hey, this is how this phone works. It might be a little bit different, so here's how it does. So we can do that. I'll probably plan to come down and see you all and, and walk through the new building. And uh, who would I get a hold of? Miss Brandy, is that you? You going to take care of that responsibility with me? Sure. All right. <laughs> that sounds good. Is there anything else that uh, I can take up your time with? No, we appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I sure really oh, appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for the time. We really appreciate it. Good to see you. Yeah, we're going to allow number six to do business. Do you have any other business? Mark? No. Terry? Mm, not too bad. James? No. Anna? Um, just to refresh all's memory, those CDs that Edward Jones are starting to come due this week.
Yeah. So I'm working with them, and I will be cashing those out as they come due and redepositing them into First Star. Okay. Sounds good. Ron, do you have anything to No? I've got a question. The very last time, uh, the last week you brought up the electric, electric over the courthouse, where did it stand on this? Hadn't got a whole contractor to walk through to give us some kind of list of what we need. I think we'll have to go back to the boxes and probably pull what we got. We got to get somebody who knows more about electric than any of us do just to tell us what we're going to need. Okay. Probably Donnie Robinson. Donnie kind of up, really. At least. Let us know what we need to kind of so we'll be at apples and apples so it'll go out and there won't be any. Thanks. If the board is any new business, I will reduce it. No. Thank you. We've looked into the meeting folks out now. We'll do it. Moving on to item seven, approved commission proceedings from previous meetings. Make motion to approve. I'll second it. Art McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Clowns? Number four yes. is uh, approved the exercise board to the commissioner's uh, commission from previous meeting. Make motion to approve the previous meeting. Second. Joe Clement? Yes. Jerry Terrell? Yes. Stoney Owen? Yes. <clears throat> Moving on to item number eight, approved blanket PO, no blankets. No, no action needed on eight. No, I was just saying, on, on, the, on the CDs, are they all going to come to just here within this month? No, they roll over to all the way to July the, I believe it's the 8th. So it'll be within the next month, everything will do we need to reinvest in that or a portion of it that we're not going to spend or do you see spending it all just by the first of the year? I think we'll be spending the big, biggest majority of it by the first of the year. Well, if we can reinvest it, now correct me if I'm wrong, Holly, if we reinvest it, we could always sell it and we can be drawing interest until that time, correct? We can. On a brokerage CD? And it depends on time and things like that, but there are, there are options. Most of it's hard to spend building this building here. That that is, that's the thing. Up. I haven't gotten the numbers on what they're anticipating spending, so I can't tell you, you know, I can't break it up and say, oh, okay, we yeah, can sell right. four, because I don't know. I haven't gotten any numbers from anybody on what they're anticipating in the next four to six months. If y'all can get me that, just anytime right away, I can do the numbers for you, and then we can look at, oh, okay, well, we can cash in six, we can roll three to a 30 day or a 60 day. I mean, because you can increment them in short term too. Yeah, you can take a six month out because we've got to have the money obligated by the end of this year yes. and then spent by 26. But if we took a six month CD, we see what we're fixing that to spend. Right. And then you can, I mean, you can sell the brokerage CD. You're not going to lose, you shouldn't lose much money. The only, the only issue you come into with the brokerage CDs is if you have to sell early. And it, it was the same situation before. If you have to sell early, then you can lose part of your principal. Sometimes your interest makes it up, but your principal is not guaranteed on a brokerage. You're not going to lose principal. Well, on a brokerage CD, yeah. So you're going it, to it's lose based our on original investment. Yes, you, brokerage CDs, you your principal is not guaranteed. No, stop. You that. will get your interest. Yeah, and she explained that when she was here. You, you know, your interest usually makes up for it. And, Based on the rate, but brokerage CDs principal is not guaranteed. It's not 100% you're going to get it back. Right. Because it's, they, they put that out on bids. Correct. And it, it's based on the rate. Yep. And it is, your, your principal isn't guaranteed on brokerage CDs. It's really according to how that. How it falls. But that's if you have to pull it early. That's why I said, you know, we could go with a shorter time limit. We could go with a local bank on a three or a six month. I mean, there there's a lot of options out there. First Star has some good options. Uh, Farmer State Bank was very competitive. They're willing, same with First National Fortsmith. Everybody right here is willing to work with us and, and match rates to the best of their abilities. So we do have options. I just need to know how much money you're anticipating. If you have you know, your draw schedule, any of that stuff from the construction, that's the information I need to know what's the best options. Okay. 
Just have to get with Mr. Newcomb on that. But I'm, I'm assuming it's going to go pretty fast. Okay. The way well, things are looking right now. The building won't take long once it starts up. Yeah, like once, once you're in the dry, yeah. it's pretty quick. Okay, I think we're on item nine. Discussing the two signing funding agreement with ODOT for District 1 Lake Access Grant. This is a lake access grant I applied for it from uh, for uh, overlay from Rock Ford to Radio Park. I think it's four miles. <laughs> Make motion we approve. I second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Clown? Yes. Tell them what you did. Oh, 600 pounds. Number 10 open field bid for employee drug testing. Do we have any? No bid received on employee drug testing. Item number 11 discussed to consider awarding six month bids. So, what do we do on the if we didn't get anybody, we just use whoever we need? I don't know if it's Okay, six month bids and awards. So I'm just going to read this off as a whole and we'll either approve it or not approve it. Uh, Ten Horns goes to Doug Ross Company, Greater Blades, Warren Cat, Asphalt, Robinson Construction, Coal Patch, Asphalt, Tulsa Asphalt, Asphalt Laying, Robinson Construction, McKenzie Asphalt, Road Oils, Argonne. Gravel, Eastern Oklahoma Stone, Rocket Natural Stone, NSP Stone Supply, Stinker Stone, and Stone Splitters at the Commissioner's discretion based on price, quality of product, and proximity to job site. I'll make a motion to approve. A second. Yes. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Clow? Yes. Number 12, review and sign and approve health department, fiscal year 2025 health department contracts. Review and sign up approved fiscal year 2025 health department resolution for requisitioning and receiving officer. I'll make a motion 
approve this. I'll second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. Fifteen review and sign for fiscal year twenty twenty five health department contract for Brown Brass Blue Hole LLC lawn care contract. The price is sixty five dollars a week, not to exceed five times a month. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Clow. Yes. Sixteen review and sign and approve fiscal year twenty twenty five health department contract for the Donald Perry janitorial service contract. Uh, this show was work to be performed two nights per week, Tuesday night after five, and one time each weekend. I don't see a price on here. Second, if you had something for us today, I don't. Um, I sent out an email. I guess y'all got that uh, late Friday afternoon. We have a meeting. I think Wednesday. Um, and I am still working on the hospital um, quote because Atho is no longer going to lie the hospital. Okay. So I don't have that yet, but I've been working on it. So it'll be through somebody else. <coughs> it won't be through Atho. It will not. They no. They sent out a, a email for that too. Y'all should have gotten that. Um, it's been several months back, but I've been working on it ever since then, and I'm real close to having one. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Item number seventeen: Review and sign of approved appropriations transfer appropriations. Check receipt. Pay. Clark McClary. Yes. Larry Watson. Yes. Billy Clow. Yes. 
make a motion to approve. Second. Dr. Clary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Yes. Exercise board number five with you and sign that approves the appropriations and transfer of appropriations. Motion to approve. Second. Jeff Clement? Yes. Jerry Terrell? Yes. Stoney Yama? Yes. <laughs> I was I was checking my <laughs>
turn around you know. <laughs>
15 to adjourn. Make a motion. Make a motion. Clark and Clary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Fowl? Yes. Exit board number six to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Joe Clement? Yes. Tony Owen? Yes. Terry Terrell? Yes.